Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1 Third Part 5, The Bridge Battle of Saraband. Alright, there is a lot going on in this fight. Um, first off, I'll show the bad guys. We've got bats. They're not too terrible, they're more of an annoyance than anything else. They have a luck of 1. They also have a special attack which they poison, which they can use fairly often for having a luck of 1 and they are scattered all over the map. As far as other bad guys, we have four Masked Monks, the same as the ones we fought before. Here we have Imposter, who... he looks kinda nasty, doesn't he? 120 HP, level 2 spark. We also have Domeric, who's level nothing. Attack of 36, not bad for an, an Emperor. Considering he doesn't have a weapon equipped, he's not too bad given that uh, his attack's 44. Now we got two more Masked Monks. They are slightly higher in level, but they are not going to be sticking around for this fight. This is the boss of the fight. He is a Masked Monk, Mage class, Tornado level 1, Power Onk, he is the same level as the other two. He will be sticking around. If we kill him, the fight is over. But we don't want to kill him just yet. We've got things that we need to deal with first. We've got barrels that need to be destroyed. Most specifically, this one. This one opens up a sink point for Scenario 2. By destroying all the barrels, we can also get access to an item. I think we have to destroy these two? I don't quite remember. There is an item that we can get in this battle. It may be over here. I'm not sure. Another thing we have to talk do is we have to talk to both Garrosh and Hayward. We need to talk to both of them. Which means we need to haul ass to that side of the screen to make sure we can get to them in time before they die. You basically have... You have to do this perfectly. Otherwise, Garrosh dies. <laughs> Just because of their AI, they are not the smartest uh smartest uh, NPCs on the planet, they will kind of, instead of moving backward, they are going to move sideways, not getting them out of harm's way. Look at Garrod, he just moves one to the side so that he can attack. Instead of moving backward one, that would have pulled him farther away from the enemy force. He's just going to stand there and let them smack him in the face. So we need to talk to Garrosh first. At this point, now that we've completed the first round, the imposter is going to take his leave with Domeric. And Domeric... commenting on hidden agendas... He's got the biggest hidden agenda of them all. I don't... I don't like and trust Domeric. He is a... he's a douche. But anyway... Uh, there is one thing... I did, did miss two items back in town that I cannot go back and get. I missed another health potion. Or, uh, healing drop, excuse me. And a large piece of mithril. So, there are those two there, um, that I, I was informed that I missed. And it starts off early. Symbiosis is poison. So, we're not kind of boned there's really no way to avoid that. Because uh, now I'm going to have to take a turn to heal Symbiolus. But I'm going to move Don Terry's there. Does Symbiolus have a... An he has an antidote herb. Fantastic. I'll do that. And that'll solve that problem. And give him some XP. Not amount, a great amount of XP, mind you, but XP nonetheless. And... Yeah! Hayward takes out the bat with a critical hit. That is because bows are strong against small flying creatures, so that's why he got the little exclamation point over his head. Because... Bats are flying, he's got range. So he's more likely to use a critical or a special attack against them. And now I can't get to Garrosh. I can't get to Garrosh because Hayward's in the way. 
Oh, nope, nope, I can. I can now. Thank freaking god. Because, uh, Don Terry's- I almost called him Chester. Don Terry's is my final hope for getting the gear off, because he's the only one who's gonna be able to move fast enough. See, I can't get her there in time. So I'll take out one of these barrels. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the barrels. It's free 5 XP for nothing. Might as well. Alright, come on, Don Terry's. I kind of want to rename him Chester, honestly, because I think that would be more entertaining. And thankfully they are not poisoning my healer. I'd be very, very unhappy if they did that. Instead, they're just going to beat the ever-living piss out of my healer. Well, you know, it happens. Alright, so if we go here and talk, talk to Garrosh. You're members of the real Republican army? Yes, yes we are. To impersonate King Benetram and take the life of my brother. So, he's pissed. I'll inform Governor Garvin of this and dispel all the lies about you. Please go and I'll catch up to you. So, he leaves the battle now, which is good because otherwise he was just going to die. Alright, now we're going to talk to Hayward. I'm a mercenary and my name is Hayward. I'm glad you came along to help when you did. I see the famous Sir Don Terry's is with you. Does that mean you are the army of the great Lord Conrad? His son Symbios commands here. We're uh, chasing the masked monks and their impersonator. Or imposter, excuse me. Uh, yes, we are. We are at a disadvantage. I've dreamed of fighting alongside a famous warrior like Sir Don Terry's. So now we have control of Hayward, so now he's on our team. So now we're actually doing pretty good, because now what we've done is we've opened up options for Sing Points, because what happens is Garrosh will now join in Scenario 2, now that he's survived. If you didn't, if you didn't survive, you get someone else. But I want to go with Garrosh, so he has survived, so we're gonna do that and the next we have to do is break that barrel and then we've done all of the sync points for this and we have unlocked uh, we're gonna kill him because we can actually kill someone we have unlocked a new member of our force because I can get all of the, the people in this scenario I know of all of the don't kill Hayward. We're better yet. Yeah, stand up there. That's that's fine. How he got up there is kind of impressive. All right, now you're gonna go after Symbios, which is fine. I kind of expected this. I'm gonna be fighting a war on two fronts here for a minute, so this is what we were expecting. Now I need to heal Symbios badly. And I need to heal Grace badly. So Grace can't do anything at the moment, so she's going to heal herself. Maskerin will probably end up healing Symbios. The only problem with doing this is... Because of everyone's only level 1, because of how the first fight went, uh, we're at a massive disadvantage. Like, we're, we're spending most of this battle now playing catch-up because we wanted to do all the sync points. If you didn't want to do all the sync points and you wanted to go through this a little bit slower and more tactically, you could probably save Hayward uh, by sacrificing Garrosh and then killing the bats that are following you. <sighs> Damn you all to bloody pus spewing hell. If you kill Maskerin, so help me God. Damn it, Maskerin... Maskerin may die. It's not good. Um... This Maskerin doesn't have another healing item. Alright, we need to start killing some of these guys now, because I'm just getting swamped. Alright. Who... has anyone been attacked? No, so Don Terry's will just stay here and attack him. 
And now someone can kill him, which is fine. Um, just because I'm... I'm paranoid because I don't want anyone to die. I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. But these guys really need to die. So we're going to start... We're going to do what we can to finish these bad guys off without losing anybody. And I'm, I'm really starting to freak out because... Hayward's close to death. In fact, Hayward's probably dead. I'm probably going to lose someone. No! They're going to continue this madness. Okay, well, we can heal Hayward now. Which is fine. We're actually not... I'm not as... Uh, well, I'm still worried, because this is still not going well. This is still kind of freaking me the hell out. Alright, Mascarin's turn. We are going to light someone on fire, and she is going to take damage for it. Uh, I can probably one-shot one of the bats with fire. Let's do that. Yes! Good job, Mascarin. And she levels up and got an antidote herb, so she's not doing too bad. She is going to take a point of damage or two from this. One, so not bad. Better than I was expecting. And you're just a little dick. You're not as bad as you could be, because I was half expecting you to poison him. And now I'm going to take more damage. One more hit, and Mascarin's dead. Uh... Damn it. Well, well, we'll take out the Mask Monk. He won't kill him, but... And Dontari's level's up to level 2. Fantastic, everyone's catching up to this point. That's... I really should have been somewhere in the neighborhood of level 3 by now, but... didn't do what I was supposed to do. Well, I should have gone through the first battle several times. I really should have. This game really does put a, a heavy amount of emphasis on grinding and power leveling to ridiculous degrees. Unfortunately, Hayward does not one-shot the bat like I was hoping he would. But fine, attack Hayward. That's that's fine. Alright, and uh We'll do this. This is probably not my smartest idea ever. But it needs to happen. I gotta kill these things, like, she has one more cure left in her, and I'm going to need that. Um... It won't kill her, but I can kill the bat, so we're gonna kill the bat. Please kill the bat. Thank you for killing the bat. And she'll take one point of damage. Who's still level one? Grace and Hayward. So, do you have a healing item? You do! You're going to heal Mascarin. And the next turn, Mascarin will use the Antidote Herb on herself. Because so I got one more bat to deal with. Now we can you that way Hayward can get the kill. Hopefully get the kill. I don't know if Hayward can do seven points of damage. We'll find out. Come on, Hayward. Yes! And 
he levels up. So now it's just Grace at level one. Well, in that case, I'll send Grace over. Well, I'll, I'll send Maskrin over to take care of that one barrel, because she's almost useless now. Because now it's just the bat and the boss. And... I've got a healing item. I will use it. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. I really should have stocked up on more healing items when I was in town. Because now I can't go back into town and do anything. I tried to go back and get the mithril and the items that I missed, but I just... I couldn't. Alright. Long as I don't trigger him, we're good. So I'm gonna keep my people here for a minute, and Dontaris can take out the bat. Dontaris can get poisoned. It's good. Just what I wanted. Does anyone have an antidote? Grace has an antidote. Okay. Alright, we're gonna come over here and attack him. Grace can use the antidote herb on Billy. Attack that barrel, cause the bar all the barrels need to go. Everything must go. Everything must go. Crazy symbiosis. Yeah, I really should have stocked up more on healing items. I'm <laughs> uh, in the second battle, and I'm out. Alright, I still haven't triggered him. And we've taken out the barrel, so all of the objectives have been met. Now I just need to not die fighting him, because that tornado spell is, is nasty. It really is. But... I can now move my people up to deal with him, and we're gonna move... I've got one more Blaze left in Maskerin, so we're gonna move her up. Hayward will take out the last barrel, and find some medical herb, fantastic! So I've got two more Cure Spells and one more Blaze. And... Like, where is his attack range? Where is he... Alright, I'm within his attack range. Hayward is, at least. Not anymore. Where, where was your attack? Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna start moving people in for the assault. Because Billy needs to be taken out now. 38 HP. Granted, I took 10 of that off with just Don Terry's. And now Symbios. Granted, he can only cast Tornado, like, twice. So, as long as you can keep your people healed, he should be fine. And I probably shouldn't have moved Hayward in, because Tornado will probably kill him. But I'm hoping he will... Oh, we'll do this. My, la oh, my last heal spell. I thought I had enough for two, but I don't. We'll heal Hayward. That way, it's less likely that the Tornado will one-shot him. And then we should have finished this fight without any casualties. Which actually impresses me. And he attacks. Instead of using a spell that would have done massive amounts of damage, he attacks. Alright, uh... Grace is almost to level 2. To a ridiculous degree. How much HP do you have left? 10? I can one-shot you with Mascarin. Uh, I'm gonna kill you with Symbios. 
Uh, I can't kill you with Symbios, can I? Symbios can do damage. We'll have we'll have Grace kill you just for the shits and giggles, because she can do two points of damage to you. I'm I'm almost positive of it. And that'll get her to level two, and that's just a comedic way to end the fight. <laughs> it worked. And Grace is level two by getting the the final blow on the boss. And. Fantastic. And she found an antidote. Mazel Tov, Grace. Stiff fight, yet everyone acquitted themselves admirably. We did, actually. I was kind of surprised that no one died. I wonder if he was able to clear our name. Well, we can't stick around to find out. Yes, let's, it's time to go to Balsamo. A, it's the closest town, and B, it's the Masked Monk's headquarters for the time being. Alright, so now that we have defeated the Mighty Barrel, we're on the Saraband Bridge, and we can wander around. And... There's nothing on this side. I thought there was. But what we can do is now we can go over here and that allows for two things to happen that allows us to find the iron bracer and it will open up a plot point for scenario two so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the iron bracer to someone creases attack who needs attack uh... Hmm. Symbios. Symbios took it back. Yeah, we're gonna equip it to Symbios. Because he needs more attack. Because the fact that our archer has more attack than he does is sad. Alright, I'm gonna go back and save it. And see if I can buy any items. And I will see you all in our next installment. Till then, later everyone.